Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com. For premium picks, DwyerVIP.com. Look us up in the sports section on Roku. We're there. Dwyer Boxing and Sports News. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now, here online all the time, I talk about the importance of hedging. And in betting on team sports, whether it's football, baseball, basketball, you name it, I always encourage people to look at the futures props. Right? Now, many people hate the futures props. They call it needle in a haystack betting. The idea is that what are the odds that the team you're getting huge odds on is actually going to blah, blah, is actually going to deliver. But what I want people to do is to hear the story of Mark Skiba, the Auburn fan, who put down a hundred dollars at huge odds, something like five hundred to one odds. He had an opportunity to win fifty thousand dollars. Fifty. If Auburn was able to close the show against Florida State in the BCS Bowl. So now, of course, people are questioning him, saying, gee, how does it feel to know that you lost that $50,000 payday? Well, skillful gamblers here online, right? Those of you who watch my videos know my philosophy on this. By the time this game kicked off, Mr. Skiba should have already hedged the play. So he was going to make a bunch of money regardless of what happened. For example, if I bet $100 and I'm on the verge of winning $50,000, then why wouldn't I bet $10,000 on the other team? In other words, we want to set up the bet where I'm going to make a mint if either happens. So, right before kickoff of this Florida State-Auburn game, right, it would have been wise for Mr. Skiba to say, okay, if Auburn wins, I'm going to make $50,000. A lot of money. Why don't I bet $10,000 against Auburn in this game, right? Let's pretend it's even money odds. By the way, I believe you would have gotten better than even money odds, right? Because Florida State was the top seed going into the game, right? Let's say you bet $10,000 on Florida State. You're going to be minting money if either happens. Sure, if Auburn were to have won, you would only net... $40,000. Think about it. How many of us would make that bet? Bet $100, get back $40,000, right? Because that's the net of the whole thing, right? $40,000 he would have won on Auburn. And of course, if Florida State won the game, then he would have gotten $10,000 for his troubles. How many of us would bet a hundred to win ten thousand so I believe the futures market is the market to beat the casino on what you should be doing is looking at teams that have shots to win it all and taking advantage of the leverage that the casino is giving you give it a look just to understand that with a hedge at the right time you're making obscene profits regardless of which side wins the play. Right? What you want to do is have a few teams on the futures prop. Understand it'll chop down your profits considerably. But all you're interested in doing is leaving with a profit at the end of the day. And if you set it up right, then literally you'll know. That whether Team A wins or Team B wins, you're going to win. Let me hear from you. Leave your comments for me here online. 
Visit us at gamblersadvisory.com. Let me just say, it's always a good thing, always, to be able to say that you're playing with house money, right? To get back all the money you've invested. In this case, Mr. Skiba invested $100. To get back all the money you've invested <laughs> and to literally just be looking at how much profit you're going to receive if A happens or B happens. For most gamblers, that's the place to be. I hope you give the futures markets a look in all sports uh, as the season progresses. By the way, on the futures market right now, right, even though Seattle is a minus 370, think about it, a minus 370 to win their next game at home, against the New Orleans Saints. You can get Seattle at a plus 200, plus 200 to win the Super Bowl. So think about it. If you believe that Seattle beating New Orleans is a done deal, why would you want to bet $370 to win 100 when you can actually be on the receiving end of leverage from the casino? Right? If you survive this game, then you're looking at a plus 200 that Seattle can cash by winning two games. Right? And of course, at that point, you can hedge against it. Right? And since Seattle right now is the one seed with the home field advantage in the NFC, you'd be getting leverage on the hedge because whoever Seattle plays, they would be the favorite in the game. So you would be getting better than even money odds on their opponent. Think it through. Don't view gambling as a game-by-game -game situation. View it as a futures market season to season. Let me hear from you. Leave your comments for me here in the comment section online. Thanks for stopping by.